we have a trend where the majority of the families are Aboriginal families and that trend tells a story about the historic roots that is partly responsible for some of the current problems. So we need um, government at all levels. We also need the cultural strengths from within the communities. We also need um, everybody coming together and sitting down, identifying the problems and everybody coming up with some solutions. We need to build our relationships so that, that when we're working with children and youth, we can easily access who are the family members, what are um, the family events that are going on, not just there's this feast going on once a year or, or there's this welcome home ceremony once a year. We need to be involved for the whole life getting our kids out of the, the system and bringing them home and teaching them about our ways and our customs, traditions, and letting them know that they're our family at home, that care for them, and we would bring them home because we don't want to lose them in the system, in the city life, uh, into drugs and alcohol ever. When you create awareness and you create um, better understanding of together of what the problems are and identifying them and then coming up with solutions. So we need to have more of this kind of um, social dialogue on a very personal and also on a research basis which the university did bring to to this forum. Chris Tate, who's a youth, former youth in care, he was one of our keynotes. All my former foster kids better ride because they say the hope for my future has died. But you're wrong, haha, ha, it's still alive. So whoever is holding my case file, they better hide because I'm living proof that real love what I really am and all I want to be. It may take some time, it may be hard to find, but see me beautiful.